Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at bringing a character into our scene and start adding box colliders to our floor. So at the minute we've got a floor in there and we've got a background and we've laid those up on different sorting layers. To import a basic character to start playing with your level and game testing it, you need to go to Assets, Import Package, 2D. And if you click on that, um, it will I've already imported it, but if you just hit OK and it will import it all. And what you'll have is a new folder called Standard Assets. Now in there, there's a uh, 2D folder, Prefabs, and we want this guy, Character Robot Boy. So if you just drag him in, let's see his, there he is, he's behind the background again. Let's just drag him in. And for now, let's move into uh, foreground layer so we can see him. Okay, so there he is. Now, a prefab, these are basically prefabs. Um, he is a prefab because he contains lots of different things. He's got all of these things on him. He's got an animator, he's got a collider, he's got a rigid body for physics. Um, so gravity affects him. He's got some scripts on there. Um, He's got a box collider as well, so you can see the two different colliders. And he's got, um, obviously, the sprite as well. So a prefab is just basically something that contains lots of different game objects, different components. Okay. Now, if we uh, just bring him up a bit and hit play, you see what happens. He's just going to fall through the floor at the minute. There's nothing to keep him in the in the game he's just going to slide through and that's because our floor doesn't have a, col a collider attached to it we need to apply one now um, think of it as a separate thing it's like a don't think of it that you actually attach it to this it's a collider is is like floating separately from the actual art or the, the element in the game so i'm going to create it separately now in order to do that we need to make a new game object. So if I click, right click in here and do create empty and then add a component, um, we want physics 2D and then we've got different colliders in here that we can use. So if I just pick box collider and there you go, we've got a box collider. So this means now this collider will work with the, the character. So if I just put it here and hit play. There you go. He's landed on the, the box. But if I move, you can see he's fallen off again. So I need to resize it. Um, I'm gonna before I'm gonna scale it. So if I do R and just zoom out, I can scale this along. I can move it. So it's in the middle. And there you go. Let's hit play. And now we've got a character that will run along our floor and we don't have to worry about him falling through the ground anymore. Last thing I'm going to do is just label this um, ground and I'm going to drag it into the floor layer in the hierarchy. So let's just hit play one more time. There we go. So that's much nicer now. He's, he's um, able to um, stand on the floor and move around the scene. Very simple.